Today I'm going to answer some commonly asked questions about using a VA loan to buy a house in Oregon. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Mariah. I'm a real estate agent here in the beautiful state of Oregon. And I get calls, texts, and emails from people like you that are watching these YouTube videos and are either considering relocating to or just want to buy or sell in the beautiful state of Oregon. If that's you, don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to work with you as well. If you're not familiar, a VA loan is for a veteran or an eligible spouse. VA mortgages have competitive interest rates and usually require no down payment, which is amazing, especially in a housing market like we have today. However, there are a few things that you're gonna wanna know or at least be aware of before you start house hunting if you're using a VA loan. So if that's you, be sure to stay tuned until the end today, you're not gonna want to miss anything. Something to note is that it's very common for first time buyers to be looking at the lower price range in the market. So in Salem, Oregon right now, let's just say that's $300,000. And if you're looking in Salem, for example, at $300,000 homes, most of them are not gonna be financeable, or if they are financeable, they won't be financeable with a VA loan. Something to note about VA loans, this is also the same for FHA and USDA loans, um, which are other like low and no down payment options, is that there are higher property requirements to pass the appraisal with these loans. So if you're having a VA loan versus say a conventional loan, um, for example, your VA loan, it's going to be stricter what type of house you can buy. You can't buy a big you know, fixer upper style home, it won't pass a VA appraisal. Many of the homes that are on the market at around that $300,000 mark or so in Salem, in Salem right now at least, um, many of them are either, it'll say, you know, you'll see them on Zillow and it'll look like, you know, great a great option. Pictures can be very deceiving. Um, but then I pull it up on, on my back end on the multiple listing services for my clients and find out that this house actually only will take cash because of the condition or possibly a rehab loan or sometimes conventional um, because conventional loans are uh, not as strict as far as you know the condition of the home. Say we do a home search and 30 homes come up that, that fit the criteria you're looking for, only a very small handful of them are actually going to be financeable with a VA loan in that uh, in that price point. I think it's important to lay those expectations down for buyers. However, I don't say that wanting anyone to be discouraged because we definitely can find something even in that price point. We have multiple buyers under contract right now, right around that $300,000 mark uh, with either a VA or a FHA loan, which both have stricter requirements for the condition of the home than other loan types. So it's definitely possible. We can definitely find you something, but I do think it's important to note that many of the options you you see on Zillow, for example, are actually not going to work for your loan type at that price point. The next thing to note is that your lender really matters. We send our buyers to the same lender over and over again, not because you know we get any sort of kickback, we definitely don't. There's nothing in it for us besides the fact of knowing our buyers are in really, really good hands. And it took us a while to find this solid lender. Um, my husband and I are a husband and wife real estate team here in Oregon, and we've been in the real estate industry for going on 10 years now. And it took us probably about five years of trying out different lenders until we found that lender who we were like, okay, this guy is gonna get the job done. He is creative, he is able, we've seen him save deals that should have fallen apart. We just know this lender is gonna do such a fantastic job for our clients and we have happy clients and our clients are always happy with him. It did take some trial and error to get to that point, but we have a fantastic lender we can send you to if you do not have a lender. And this lender, actually how we found him was he saved a deal in a phenomenal way that was with a VA loan um, years and years ago now at this point. And We've stuck with him ever since because he continues to do such an amazing job for our buyers. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. You're free to use whoever you want, but just know your lender matters. And the lender that we will send you to, if you choose to use our preferred lender, he works with a ton of VA loans. So I think it's really important that your lender specializes in or just is super familiar with VA loans because it is different. Next thing to note if you're using a VA loan is that you're probably gonna have lower rates. VA 
loans usually have lower rates than conventional mortgages do. Your VA loan will only work for a home that is intended to be your primary residence. You can't use your VA loan for an investment property or a vacation property. I talked about this in the beginning, but not all properties are eligible. A VA appraiser will evaluate the home to make sure it meets the minimum property requirements. Some fixer uppers will just not meet these standards. And now this definitely doesn't mean the house has to be in perfect condition by any means. We've helped many, many buyers with VA loans over the years purchase properties that, uh, you know, needed a lot of cosmetic work and in their and in their mind, like this was a fixer, a fixer. But like I said, stricter requirements than a conventional loan. You can't uh, you can't be needing a new roof and a new water heater and have you know things falling apart over here. Like it's got to be a solid house with good bones. Cosmetic fixes, yes, that should be fine um, with a VA appraiser, but nothing deeper than cosmetic fixes, I would say. That's it for today's video, short and sweet. If you are thinking about buying or selling or just have any real estate related questions, shoot me an email. I will put my email uh, in the description. I'd love to talk to you. Hit the thumbs up button if you grab value from this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. We come on here consistently sharing everything you need to know about moving to, living in, or buying and selling real estate in Oregon and we'll see you guys next time.